Good morning, guys. It's Sunday morning, and I'm here at Nationals Pu Oh, Walgreens. I'm Anthony. I'm Jay. We're Sorgy Stories. These are the sports, travel, food, and other adventurous journeys of a kid and his dad. And sometimes mommy, also known as Carrie. There are so many things that were not in the pre <laughs> We're Wisconsin Cheeseheads. And a West Virginia Mountaineer. <laughs> transplanted in the land of cheesesteaks and America's birthplace. Oh yeah, we moved to Philly. For many fans, today is the baseball home opener. No, not for Major League Baseball but many minor league franchises, including the nearby Wilmington Blue Rocks, start their home season tonight. As we continue to dip into our 2022 archives, we bring you a story of not only one of the great East Coast minor league fan experiences, but our chance to turn a fantastic baseball storyteller into a new friend of the Sorgi squad. But before we do, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell, as well as here for the rules. Ding, ding, ding. Kid, we've got your glove. We've got my glove, and there's a third glove that's joining us today for a minor league game, but he's typically a major league baseball road tripper. He is baseball road tripper. I finally get to meet the Sorgies. Yes, at last, after so many years of following you. We love doing baseball. We love doing travel. I don't know if there's a channel out there that combines them as well. I mean, perhaps a Zach, a Zach Campbell, your boy, mm -hmm. who's giving you, let's just say, a little bit of influence. Yes. But tell us about yourself. My name is Tony. I come from uh, Minneapolis, and this is my first time meeting them in person. I was just at City Field last night, and I'm super excited. Even though you're on how many hours of sleep? Uh, maybe about four. We're going to have yet. to get you some of that... Uh, custom coffee at Wawa on the way out to uh, yes. checking out the Wilmington Blue Rocks. Turn left onto Matt Baker Way, then your destination will be on the left. Last time I was actually on a field, 2018 or 19 for the Brewers. Do you think that this is actually in play over here, like a foul ball? My guess is... Yes, if it's a fair, if it's a fair ball somehow, Kareen's over here, and it can be a foul ball for a flyout too. That would be crazy. Weird. That is a crazy setup. I love quirky stadiums. Yes, but this is our first time on a field since 2018 when we camped out. We did camp out on the Miller Park field. That's true. For the Miller Park uh, field of sweet dreams. Yeah. Now we get to play a little catch ourselves. seats right here row three right by the dugout where one of the best ball and other hawkers on the planet can teach this one the strategies minor league baseball has some of the craziest promotions you could ever think of to get people into the house here it's my little pony day is aaron judge on steroids oh i doubt it I don't think Maybe. we know. <laughs> Who's our friend here? Who's our friend? This is Pinkie Pie and Twilight's on her way up. Hey, thank you for coming. By the way, bless you for being inside that suit on an 85, 90 degree day. Wow. <laughs> Look at the list of guys who played at Carlos Beltran. Wow. <laughs> Rookie of the year on Helboroa. Some major talent that's come through and playing for the blue and blue. Alright. 
So today it's Bill Spaceman Lee against Graham Lloyd as a starting pitching matchup. Yeah. The real question though, is any relation to Bobby Witt, the Royals were? We'll have to check that. Along the Mendoza line, it is Indian Appreciation Day here at the park. And we are speaking, yes, of the nation of India. I'm guessing Ken Herbeck and Kirby Puckett never did a pregame Hare Krishna song performance beforehand. I mean, with the way the Twins are going right now, they might need this to boost their season. <laughs> it's Indian Independence Day. Nice. So they said it's the 75th anniversary. That's awesome. That is awesome that they actually get to share a real cultural lesson beyond just doing it for fun. That is so cool. Now this is one of those songs where you can very easily get the lyrics screwed up. Keep on with the cornstarch. Don't stop till you got enough. Like that kind of lyric. <laughs> Sort of like Steve Miller, Big Old Jed had a light on. Those kind of songs. You got my, any favorites like that? And my dad always thought it was shoot the children with no shoes on their feet, which <laughs> made no sense to him. <laughs> Radar gun. Radar gun. Radar gun. Trying to track the pitches. Scouting here. We're scouting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, little dance to the Toto. Nice. What is our feeling about what sometimes can be a controversy? A blue on blue game here with Aberdeen in the, in the baby blue, Wilmington in the navy. Love it! Oh yeah. Right on the blue. Baby blue all day, every day. First pitch of the game to hear the slap of the ball in the catcher's men. One of the advantages of minor league baseball, you can hear the sound so well. <laughs> Being a full-out ball hawker, you've got to be ready to move usually when there's two outs and prepare. Get those agile shoes on. Yeah. You got some right there. Yep. I just have sandals. That works. I should have worn Perfect. my tennis shoes. You get a sand or a tan on your feet too. That should do. Absolutely. It is four nothing already. After a three-run shot, some errors on the part of Aberdeen. This is becoming a blowout, dude. This is becoming a blowout. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How far do you think it is to hit a home run on the freeway? 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet, you guess. Okay. I'm going to go with oh, actually onto it. Onto the freeway. Yeah. Because remember, you also, it's also going to be a sky shot. Yeah. 1550. 1550. So we're talking longer than a Tiger Woods drive. Okay. We'll have to do some math after this game and see who comes up with a win. Get the distance. I'm going to give it to the Bronx. Oh, 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 oh. It's turned into a little sumo battle between the kids. That is fun. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to garner a baseball during the third inning. This message will self-destruct in one more out. The dance of the celery every single time. The Blue Rock score. We're getting in three games in 24 hours with the old timers game in New York. With the Mets game and now this, but it ain't the journey you had earlier back in April this year. No. That was that was crazy. One day. The morning was in Fenway, watching the Twins take on the Red Sox, and then after about six and a half innings, got on a flight and arrived at Dodger Stadium for the final six and a half innings there. Someday, 
we would love to do something similar if the Brewers are on one of those dockets, and especially once you're out of school or if it's during a break. We'll take you along. We'll do it, man. I'm game. Check that out. It is a fantastic documentary, that experience. Awesome. Second ball of the day. Having first a, in your glove. Having a pro ball hawk here worked. Uh -huh. It worked. <laughs> it's, it's a baseball road trip magic. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Warnings have been issued to both managers due to some issues that have happened on this field. A little bit of antipathy going on. You have the umpire and the Aberdeen manager discussing which cheesesteak place to go to. 30 minutes north of here in Philly. And it's a bit of an animated discussion because they're disagreeing between Pat's and Gito's. But the Wompington manager is suggesting Tony Luke or Jim. I still think it's hilarious that when we're yelling at the umpires, we yell, come on, Blue, when they're wearing black and charcoal gray. I don't get it. So these are actually not security cameras. These are, it appears to be pictures, speed cameras. Yeah. Peanuts and crackers, yes. I don't care if I ever get back for this root. Root, root for the brewers. It's the heat when it's a shame. For it's one, two, three structure out at the old ball game. Do we continue that? I think so. I always find it so interesting that the kid loves singing a song about something that he can't drink for at least another eight and a half years. There's something so cool. There's something so cool about the fact that he's oversized. Eight foot tall mascot that can make people happy. We can make people happy. We did the math. You've been to 20 states now for baseball games. Yes. You've been to two countries for baseball games. Yes. What's your next mission? I mean, I definitely want to go to like Puerto Rico for a baseball game. But that's another U.S. territory, so I might as well just try to do all 50 states, right? Very possible. We'll be we'll be around here if you want to maybe catch a few like. Jersey Shore, Blue Claws, I think it is, or something similar to that. And do you guys want a road trip to Alaska with me? Oh, we'll have to check the budget. We'd love to. <laughs> love to. Uh, Jersey, Virginia, close by to us. We can certainly help you out with some of those minor league teams up, down the line. Well, let's set it up. Oh, number three! Number three for MV3, kiddo. Nice job. Let's see that. Ball ball. How does it feel? Pretty good. Nice thing. Off, off there, bounce all the way through. Focus on him, it's okay. Um, but yeah, awesome. And? 
Let's see that one. That's an official Major Baseball. League Baseball. Dang. Mine's the Minor League Baseball. Congrats. Thank you. The master of baseball road trips, baseball road tripper himself, has given you the zen yeah. of ball hawking. I got three, you got two. So he, you beat me. So and you're already the pro. <laughs> so you got to chill, you got to hang out. The yeah. student became the teacher and you're already well ahead of where I am. He taught to the a skill of the umpire cards as well, right yes. inside here. But more so, just connection with people, with good yes. people like this dude right here. Go to Baseball Road Tripper, subscribe to him. Check out his journeys, international baseball. He's already gone to 20 states. Check out every major league baseball locale that there is. And he's gonna be expanding to some really cool spots down the road. Check him out, absolutely. And to do so, and as well for Sorgi Stories, what should people do? You gotta like, share, subscribe, and hit that, no, smash that bell. Ding, ding, ding. ding. For Baseball Road Tripper, for a little guy, I'm Daddy. So long from Daniel S. Friendly Stadium in Wellington, Delaware. See you, everybody. I'm just gonna play a little 500 there. This time we're gonna try. <laughs> nope. Whip! I whipped. <laughs> so here's a quick question for you. When they lose their voice, do they become a little horse? But I'm pumped. Dad joke. Hashtag dad joke. This guy's a killer with it. It is time for Krabby Fries. We'll try the cheese sauce later. We'll just first have it as it is. Oh, down go Krabby Fries.